Hi guys, I am back with a Colourpop Colourpop haul. I have been saving up a list of things that I've wanted from Colourpop over the last many, 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 many moons of collections that they've put out uh, since the beginning of this year. And the thing that finally made me make the order was the Blue Moon palette. I'm a big fan of blue. I love blue shadow. I can't get enough of it. So I had to get that little blue nine pan palette because I'm also a sucker for the nine pan palettes. So while I was getting the Blue Moon palette, I also decided to get some of the Lux lipsticks that I've wanted. I wanted another one of the nine pan palettes. Probably not the one you're thinking, although if you've seen the thumbnail, you already know. Um, and then I wanted a couple of the cream gel liners. So if my nose is looking incredibly highlighted today, it is, and I'm kind of liking it. So just, um, just keep staring at it because it's not going away. All right, so let's get into this haul. So I did manage to get one of their bigger birthday boxes. Uh, so it just says made in LA. Uh, I don't know what it says on the top because there's a big sticker with my address on it and it says made in LA on the other side and then once you open up the flap you've got the ColourPop with the um, watermelon seeds from the watermelon collection for their fifth birthday. I didn't get anything from that collection to be honest with you. Um, the palette was interesting but it didn't look that different from the pink palette so yeah, I don't, I'm not really into that much red eyeshadow, so whatever. But I'm into blue eyeshadow, so it's all personal preference. Anyway, I managed to pick up about $50 worth of stuff, so it is all in here. You can see it. I have three lipsticks. I have one um, liquid lipstick. I have two of the cream gel liners, and then I have two palettes. So, let's take a look at the palettes first. And I am, I have my lovely wipes, so I will be doing some swatchy swatchies with this. I have some nice afternoon lights, so I'm gonna do that. This is the Blue Moon palette right here. The beautiful one that everybody's been raving about. There are the colors on the back. And the packaging is absolutely beautiful. Perfect name for this palette. And we will pop it open. And the inside is even more stunning. Or I guess the outside of the inside, the, the, the actual packaging is even more stunning. Words are hard for me, sorry. And there again are the shades on the back. And then, let's see. Ah oh, yes, I have not taken out the little, they all came with these little sort of guards on the shadows there. So I take that out and then it does have a mirror, which I've not taken out. So without blinding you, I will show you the palette. Here it is. This is the beautiful palette. And I cannot get over how pretty this is. It's a, a nice blue without any teals really palette. A nice like true blue, beautiful multi-finish palette, the perfect size. And I'm really excited to dip into this. So I'm gonna do some swatches right now. So, and I am absolutely in love with this color Lumi, this little duochrome with the blue. Uh, I love shades like that. I have a highlight shade like that, and I think there's a color like this in the My Little Pony palette. Um, I, I know that's discontinued now, but I think it's, I'd like to see swatches, swatch them together and see how close they are. So I'm just going to go through and swatch these for you, for me, I guess, but for you, for the camera. I'm going to go into Lumi first. There's what it looks like on the finger. Then do swatch. Wow, super pretty. 
it's a really terrible swatch but it's really really pretty I can see the blue in it from the side and you can see it flash that way too it's really gorgeous just even some of that out really really pretty beautiful inner corner shade someday I'll learn how to do swatches but probably not today and then there's what's left isn't that gorgeous next we're gonna do Daba D which is a light blue matte D. Pretty. It's like the color of a pair of faded blue jeans. Build that up with the second swatch. Ooh, that looks pretty. Looks like a very nice powder blue. Very pretty. Then we're going to go in with the matte Moonlight, which is a lighter blue. Ooh, very pretty. And I don't have any primer or anything on my arms, so I'm just swatching on bare arms. So I'm going to do another swatch. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to have to build these up anyway if you use them on your eyes you're not really going to want them to like blend in you just really want them to pop it's like look at those three those are so beautiful next i'm going to go in with the little deeper matte called starry eyed that looks so bright Ooh, that looks pretty it's a nice bright almost fluorescent blue so pretty. Honestly, having a hard time getting over how pretty these are. I know the swatches don't look like much, but in real life, they just look so like, oh my gosh, this just looks so pretty. And this one looks so bright. And if you build that up, I can just imagine what that would look like. Next, I'm going to go with another. Um, shimmer called Billie Jean. The one in the center. Like that. It looks a lot like um, Mediterranean from the Riviera palette, I think. I haven't swatched them side by side, but that's kind of what it reminds me of. But look at that. You can build it up or you can just sheer it out for a nice wash. Very pretty. Then we have the super beautiful shimmer. This is Tide Pool. Look at that. Look at, oh my gosh, look at that. Oof. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. That's super pretty. Last row, Mad About You. This is a shimmer. Not quite as like, it's a little bit harder than some of than the other shimmers, a little bit more tightly packed. Ooh, that's like a royal blue. Wow, really pretty. Reminds me of a color in the um, Wet n Wild Stop Playing Safe palette. So if you're mad at Wet n Wild still, you can maybe try this one as a substitute. Next is Fine China. I love the name of this and I love the color. It's this deep blue, deep like porcelain blue. Oof, look at that. Wow, that is really nice. 
I'm really impressed. I, w I hope these build up really nice on the eye. They're really impressive with swatches. And I'm not just sitting here going, oh, 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 it's so great. Just because I want it to be great, it's actually like kind of blowing me away right now. I don't know whether it's because I'm sitting in the sun and I have natural light or because I've been staring at this palette for like two days wanting to swatch it but not being able to swatch it because I haven't had time to film anything, but I, wow, I'm very, very impressed. One last shade, waiting for my hands to dry from the cloth. And the last shade is Clued In, which it seems like a matte with a little bit of shimmer in it. I don't know, I'm not sure. But I love the name of this because of Blue's Clues, obviously, but look at that. beautiful like inky blue just like the faintest touch of green in it it's like beautiful so these are the oh look at that these are the shades really really happy with this um haven't tried it on my eyes yet but i am looking forward to doing that i love 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 to do blue eyes another thing i love 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 to do right now is a blazing orange eye. So that brings me to the next palette, which is the Shayla Times Colourpop Proceed with Caution palette. This is the packaging. It is so cool. It's got this raised embossing on it. And then on the back you have the shades. Not gonna lie, when I first saw this palette, it reminded me a lot of brown sugar, but that also kind of intrigued me because I really, really love brown sugar. I think that is one of the best palettes, one of the best nine pan palettes that ColourPop has put out. And so when I saw the inside of this, obviously, this is the outside. This is just a glossy black with some yellow lettering. It has the Shayla Times ColourPop logo on it. And again, the shades on the back. Mine is a bit fingerprinty because I have been using it for the last two days. And you have the mirror and then on the inside this is what it looks like. And I think this palette got a lot of flack for being really neutral, but this was that kind of appealed to me and when I got it I couldn't believe the color in these and I think I've only used it for a couple days honestly but I'm really digging an orange eye with like a yellow uh, inner corner I'm it's just a thing it's summer I'm ready for it and this is fulfilling my needs it's an easy one and done palette so the first shade is gonna be proceed and it's just a nice matte neutral pretty much just blends in with my skin right there so I use that to set the lid maintenance which is a sort of reddish brown that I use uh, on the outer V That is a really nice outer V shade. I have also used it, I did use it a bit in the crease today. Dead End. This is a beautiful yellow shimmer shade. It reminds me a lot of, I think the Lemonade Palette by Maybelline had a color like this, but it's just so glittery and so summery. Like, oh, that's so pretty. I have that on the inner corner today. I layered it over the yellow shade in here. But it is just beautiful for nice sparkle on the lid. So far, my favorite color in this palette, this is Warning. And it is this bright neon orange sparkly shimmery thing. It is so good 
so good. It is bright and it is shimmery and I have not even touched this up all day. Um, and that's what it looks like. Obviously it's mixed with some of the yellow, but I just love the way it looks like with my blue eyes. I think it looks super pretty and there is a little bit of fallout with it. Um, you are going to get some sparkles on your eye uh, during the day, but um, it's not like really clownish or anything and I never mind a little bit of light underneath my eyes. I need as much light and sparkle under my eyes as I can get. So it really doesn't bother me. They just absolutely kill it for me. This is so pretty. Then the middle shade is Hazard HZRD Neutral Shimmer. Very pretty. Nice for a, like a toned down smoky eye maybe. Then we have Caution is this nice bright yellow matte and that's really nice to layer dead end over you do have to build it up I have to build it up on the inner corner so I adjusted and closed the door so things are not going to be as bright but they won't be as blinding over here either so these are the shades so far. You can just barely see that first one right there. Uh, so I just did a caution and then we are doing the last row, which the first shade is called Drill and it's this beautiful coppery shade. And it reminds me of the shade Amber in the Brown Sugar palette. I think that, might want, that one might be a bit more reddish. Culture, which is this beautiful neutral crease shade, one of my favorite colors for my crease. Beautiful. And then the last one is called Gloves On and it is a matte with, it's a black with coppery sparkle in it and people don't like that but I think it's, the black itself is pretty nice and I have actually been using it as my liner. I think it actually looks really pretty in the pan. Um, but, you know, everybody has their own opinions about that. The orange and, well, pretty much right now just the orange shade. Um, I think because I've used it a lot and I've used it with my finger, it is getting a bit flaky. Um, but it is, as you can see, it just reflects the light so beautifully. And I am so so impressed with this palette. I think I think it was overly criticized for being neutral and it's really really pretty but um, again that's all personal preference and I really like it. The next thing I'm going to show you is a first for me. This is one of their li liquid lipsticks. This is an ultra blotted lip and I have always wanted to try the ultra blotted lips because I want to know how they work with uh, a gloss over the top. I have a lot of glosses that are sort of just toppers. Um, and I just, you know, I like to just accentuate the glitter on top with something nice underneath, but not too overpowering. Um, and sometimes, you know, you, you mix it with lipsticks, regular lipsticks, and you know, the wand just gets icky and blah, blah, blah. But So I figured I'd try this. This is the one in vitamin C. I think this was released last summer not sure anyway this is an ultra blotted lip this is what it looks like and i've never tried these before this is the applicator very tiny can't smell anything and this is the color it's really pretty and you can see it gets that sort of blotted So yeah, I am very intrigued by this. I am hoping that it goes very nicely with um, my glosses and I do love a nice terracotta color for the summer. I also picked up three of the Lux lipsticks. Uh, this is the normal Lux lipstick packaging. This is a matte, it's called Electric Feel. 
I had to get it for the name alone. I love that song. If you've never heard it, you should. And it's just in the regular Lux, lip, li Lux, Lux lipstick packaging. Words are hard again. And this is the color. It's this beautiful peach. And actually, I'm going to put some on because I think I forgot to put on lipstick for this video. That's awkward. So that is that. I love the color. It is so pretty. This is a swatch next to vitamin C. You can see I really love terracotta -y, peachy neutral lipsticks. And I do want to swatch it next to one of my favorite lipsticks. This is the Sephora Lip Stories in Brunch Date. And I just want to swatch it next to it to see if it's a dupe. This is what this looks like. You can see I've used quite a bit of it. They are very, very similar. This one's a little bit browner, I think. This one's a little bit pinker, but they are very, very similar. Next, I bought two from the um, special collections. I bought one of the Dis Disney Designer, and I bought one from the um, Sweet Talk Spring Collection. It's beautiful packaging right here. And of course, on here, the packaging on ColourPop products is A+. Plus. You probably don't need me to tell you that, but it is just stunning. And I just love all the little details that they put on. And this one is Tea Time. It is a cream luxe. It has the regular Lux lip, Lux lipstick. I can't say that word. On the packaging. This is the color. It is a deep, sort of a deep bricky red, not quite red, brownish red. But we'll do a swipe. Ooh, that is pretty. That is what that looks like right there. And again, I want to compare this one, Tea Time, to one of my favorites. From the Sephora Lip Stories. This is Labyrinth City. That's what that looks like. This is a cream, but this is a matte, so we'll see. But let's see how this. And those are very similar too. Again, this one I think is a little bit pinker. No, maybe? Maybe a little bit pinker. And this one a little bit more purpley but definitely very very similar then we have bell and then you have the little signature right there and i thought that this was just like some plain boring packaging but i didn't realize it actually has the signatures on it which is pretty cool it has the little disney designer label on it and then open it up and it again is a nice like bricky red, very, very similar to Tea Time. Um, so we'll see, let's see, we'll swipe it right here. And yeah, those are almost dupes for each other too. So. And if you're keeping track, these two are the Sephora Lip Stories and then this one, this one, and this one are the Luxe lipsticks, and this is the Ultra Blotted Lip in Vitamin C, which has dried down and actually looks really cute. I think it looks really cute. Just like a nice wash, nice like juicy wash. Now that this has dried down a bit, I actually want to see how it looks with um, one of my favorites. This is the Anastasia Lip Gloss in Freya. It is a beautiful topper color with pink and gold shimmer. This smells fantastic. Ooh. I think that looks nice. 
Wow, I can really see the pink in it now. I can see, really see the pink and gold glitter in it. Very pretty. I don't get any staining on the applicator, so that's awesome. <laughs> Finally, I picked up two of the Cream Gel liners. They have repackaged and rebranded these as the BFF liners. So they're part of the BFF collection with the liquid liners and the mascaras and everything, but they read on the packaging. It's all very pretty. So I picked up Teaspoon and Honey Dude. Honey Dude is the sort of neutral peach for the inner rim of the eye. Uh, let's see here. Just looks like that. Very skin tony on me. Um, just brightens up the lower rim of the lid. And then I got a teaspoon, which is green. It's this nice, bright, grassy green, I guess. I haven't swatched it, so I guess we'll find out. I think I just nicked it. Oh, well. So this is the color. This is teaspoon. And we'll see what it looks like. Yeah, it's a nice grassy green. I really love the blue one in Prance. That's uh, the first cream gel liner I ever got. It's one of my favorites. I love it with the blue look. I'm definitely going to be wearing it with the Blue Moon palette, um, but this is really nice too. So I'm excited to see how this works with some looks. And Honey Dude is just like one of those staple things for me. I have an Essence double-ended liner that was like a spring limited edition. I'm sure they have it in the regular collection, but I'm too lazy to go find it. So it's great, great that this is a dupe for that because I really love that and I'm almost out of it. So I'm glad I got to try the new, well, they're not new, but the newly packaged. So that is my ColourPop haul for today. I am swatched and ready for action. I am stunned by all of these colors. They are so pretty and this is so far a really nice palette for summer like i said i'm wearing it today i've worn it for the last two days i'm really impressed so far two days your mileage may vary whatever and then of course blue moon i am so excited to dig into this and do some more playing with it so what can I say? I'm addicted to these 910 palettes. I'm trying to be judicious about the ones that I buy, although that's really hard when they're only like 12 bucks. Actually, this was on sale for like $9.40 because it was 30% off. Don't even get me started. It was, a, it, was a, it was a long, long wait to get this because I just kind of went nuts. I went a little bit nuts, but it's okay. So I have lots of fun eyeshadow and lipstick to play with. I've been trying not to buy eyeshadow and lipstick for at least the first part of the year, but I finally just decided, you know what? I'm gonna support this, and I'm gonna support this, and I'm gonna get some lipstick that I like. So that is my ColourPop haul for today. Let me know uh, which items you've recently hauled from ColourPop, which items of mine that I showed you are you really interested in seeing? Would you like to see a look with any of them? I'll probably do a look with some of them anyway, just because I like, I'm really in the mood to do looks with palettes right now. I'm having fun with makeup again, and I'm having fun filming with makeup again. Thank you guys so much for watching. It means a lot to me that you take the time to do that. Leave me a comment down below if you'd like. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.